Hello everybody and welcome back to the next Unity tutorial video. Today we're going to go ahead and continue with our uh, matching game and we're going to go ahead and finish up our grid so that we can make some levels. Um, so the first thing was the first thing we're going to do is add a uh, a light game object and a directional light and so right now we can create our grid which is just a bunch of cards but we're going to want to expand upon this so let's drag our slot back into the scene and instead of using a card we're going to go ahead and create a script called slot okay open that up and attach it to your uh, slot object okay so right now the only thing we want this to do is um, a unity function called on draw gizmos on draw is Mose. and you can do a couple of things in here we can draw a cube from our cent from a center to a uh, size transform dot position and our size will be Five zero five. So we turn off our uh, cube. We can see that we have a slot object in the scene. All right. So we can do a couple of other things. Uh, gizmos dot color. We can say that this equals. And before we do this one, we can draw a wireframe around it. A wire cube with the same parameters. So we can just copy this over. And we want this gizmos color to be something different. Then I go with blue. And so if you look closely, you can see that it has a faint blue line around it. To make that more apparent, you can uh, expand the Y. So now you can see that there is a blue box around this other box. So let's move that back down to two, so it's not too big. And then we're going to re-prefab this. So that we have a slot. Now we can delete that, and with our create grid, we will now create a large grid of slots. All right, so we want to use this spacing, this three and four, for our uh, size of our uh, cubes. Okay, and so now you can see the nice grid. So let's clear this out. We need to add a box collider to this which is also going to be 3 and 4 and we want to add a new grid type so let's open up grid 
and this is going to be click to remove. So this grid type is going to be something that allows you to take some grid that, that was made by an X and Y and then click and remove some of the items in it so that you can uh, make patterns for the game. So to do this we're going to need a few more things. First thing is we're going to have a public bool called register. Okay, and then we're going to make a new function called register. And then if register And then register equals false. And then we're going to make another function called void on click to remove. And this is going to take in something called a scene view. Okay. And this is an editor uh, object which is the view of our scene and we can go with scene view dot on GUI delegate or on scene GUI delegate and we can add on click to remove here and so when this this thing will be called every frame in the editor right here in the scene and then that will call this function however we also want to remove it before we add it just in case we already have it on. Okay. And then we're just going to use a debugging statement, uh, print, just to see if this is being called. And let's register or let's create a grid. Okay. And then let's register. Now uh, we need to call register and update. Okay. <laughs>